How to travel abroad with your pet. In this video series, we are examining various aspects related to traveling abroad with your pet. Please watch each of the videos if you are interested in traveling abroad with your pet. Each video contains information relating to each part of the process of preparing to travel abroad. Are you training your pet in preparation for traveling abroad? Get your pet used to traveling. Harry and I went hiking a lot, and so he was very comfortable inside a backpack already. He knew he was going somewhere if the backpack was taken out. That's something, you know, a start, like a couple months out, you know you're going, you know you're leaving. Starting to get your pet ready and comfortable with the fact that they're going to be moving and you're going to be moving them. And that the end result, it might be a little bumpy, <laughs> but the end result is they're going somewhere and that destination is a fun place um, but getting them comfortable with being inside a bag that closed space um, was essential for me so he'd be in my backpack and I'd get on my bicycle and ride out to the site where we were going to hike and also he got in the bag obviously if he got on the bus because um, all of that is possible was possible at least in Korea at the time. So this is a picture of Harry inside his backpack. This is a picture of Harry hiking in the mountains in Korea. Setting up your crate and getting your pet used to the crate. This is how you would set up your crate. You would put a bowl for food and attach that to the wire door of the crate. Um, you do get attachable bowls that do that. You should have water for your cat in there as well. Um, it doesn't have to be in a bowl like that. It must have this attachment. You can order this online. You can look for it for dogs and cats. And basically it can attach to the crate door. Um, it could put, I could put any water bottle there. You have the pet's ID there and you can put your pet's ID. I'll put links for those. There are labels to put on the crate like stickers and I'll put a link for the stickers as well and also I just put a pee pad in there on underneath a plastic grid that I, that came inside the crate sometimes the plastic grid doesn't come inside the crate so I would look for a grid um, kind of mesh to put on top of the pee pad um, so that when they're in there they can basically be separated from their pee I had it set up like this a while before the trip so that Harry could get used to it. Next, it's time to crate train your pet. Uh, you need to teach your pet how to um, drink from the water bottle, from the little pipe, the little straw that goes into their crate. You've got to ensure he eats from the bowl prior to the trip so that he knows that, you know, this is the place I eat my food from. I know to eat from here. I'm not going to starve to death because I'm like, I don't eat that stuff in that bowl. Because you know, I've never eaten it from, from it before. So he gets, get your pet used to eating from the bowl in the, in the crate to some extent. It doesn't have to be all the time, but yeah, to some extent. Um, play with toys around the crate so that, you know, the crate is a fun place. We played with cat toys into the crate, out of the crate, and off the crate, around the crate. Um, and the crate was just in a place in my room where he could, if he wanted to, he could go in there. I actually put like the cat scratcher stuff in there, like at the cardboard that he could scratch at. I put that in there because I wanted him to feel like he could scratch in there. And of course, for traveling, I took that out. But he knew he could, he could scratch in there. Um, and make it his own because I, I guess you know it's his territory and they scratch to show that this is their territory. Um, so he played with t um, toys and he got used to the fact that this is a safe place, I'm comfortable in here, this is my home um, to some extent. I didn't leave him in there, we didn't spend his nights in there or anything, it's just the fact that he was aware that this is his, his space, it's his, he owns this. Um, I place treats for him inside there sometimes, so he could go and find them. And so I was like, ooh, surprise. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, he got comfortable staying inside his crate and he's ready for his journey. Um, other than, you know, journey still that it was, I took him on a journey when I took like a weekend vacation in his crate so that he could know, okay, fine, crate means vacation. Pro tip, fill the food bowl each day prior to the trip. Very inside his crate after playing with me. These are some other things that you can do on this website. So if you scroll the way to the bottom after the table there for the crate dimensions, you can find out a little bit more about IATA approved crate standards requirements. You can see how to measure your pet's crate. They also have the actual calculator. So if you don't um, use the online website calculator, there's actually a formula that you can use. So they've got that information and they just have other advice for your pet. So it's useful to read up some more information on this website. I hope you have a lot of fun preparing for the trip with your cat. I know it's stressful, but I would say, you know, do as much research as you can and um, just, yeah, it, don't freak out. Stay calm and relax because the, your pet feels what you feel. And if you're prepared, you will be ready for that trip. And if anything comes up, um, you will be able to handle it. That's it for this video. Keep an eye out for video four in the series. Getting everything ready for your pet's journey abroad. If you have any questions, please comment on the video. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.